Hi guys, we're installing a new uh, heat pump system in our house here. I thought I'd go over the uh, parts we're using and uh, anything interesting in the installation. So let's go look over at the air handler here. Sort of just mocked up right now with uh, how the return the duct will go and how the, uh, the supplier will be routed. We'll just make some sort of a metal pieces to adapt this, not too far off. Um, this is a Goodman uh, MBVC 1600 air handler, 1600 CFM max. Well, this one's running a little bit lower. I think it's about 1200 for this three-ton system. Uh, it's a sorry, piece of metal there. It's a variable speed D, uh, brushless drive motor, uh, control panel with a uh, microcontroller that controls everything. Um, yeah, this community this is on, they call it comfort net, and this is uh, a network between the air handler, the uh, outside unit, and the thermostat. So a set of control wires is the network, and they all communicate. You can get error codes and such. And below that we have the uh, coil, which is quite big. Let's see if we get a view of that. It's at least probably three times the coil area of this the old one over here. This is what is it? Model number CAPF three seven four three. It's a three to three point five ton rated. I really quite. And we also have joining up here an air an electronic air cleaner. It says these collection cells with uh, charged wires that electrostatically uh, track the dirt onto the. Uh, uh, plates. Yeah. Let's see some of the accessories we got here. This is the um, wiring or adapter for the heating kit. I shall see if we put that first. This is the backup um, electric heat strip. Let's see if we can get this out of there. Yeah, 15 kilowatts, a 1 10 kilowatt and 1 uh, 5 kilowatt circuit. Two breakers, a bunch of wire. Yeah, I think there's contactors here, these are actually quite tiny. I'm surprised how small they are. Some, uh, also got thermal fuses there, more thermal cutoffs. Yeah, this is used to adapt the incoming supply line to both breakers. If you run a 100 amp uh, circuit with number 3 wire up to this, and this adapts it out to the 60 and the uh, 30 there. And let's see. We've got the TXV kit. It goes on the uh, evaporator coil there. This TXV has an adapter to for a uh, line of the suction line, so we can measure the suction pressure, and we have the thermostat, communicating uh, screen thermostat. Let's open. It's made by Emerson it looks like. Yeah, it just connects with four wires, two for power, two for the, uh, one for transmit, one for receive, for the, uh, communications. And I'll go show you the, uh, heat pump unit itself. Here is the outdoor unit. Uh, this is a DSZC-16, oh, something, it's the 16 sear uh, two-stage, two-speed, uh, two-level compressor. I think it has 100% and 70% power, approximately. Let's go take a look in there. Yeah, it's got a uh, Copeland scroll compressor. Let's see if you can get a better view of this. I think that's the filter dryer, which is kind of small. There's probably a muffler there on the uh, outlet. There's, I think that's a temperature switch. There's, there's a pressure switch and a pressure sensor on the uh, discharge line for the uh, diagnostics. 
Um, there's the uh, reversing valve. It looks like the outside coil is a single uh, layer. Don't see a second layer there. And there is focus. There's the outside metering valve or TXV. The uh, fan on the outside unit is actually two speed. It's a uh, where is it here? I think it's a one sixth horsepower. Um, yeah, two speed motor. So when the compressor is in the low mode, the fan runs a bit slower, so it's quieter. Uh, let's see if we can pull this out and look at the refrigerant connections. Here's the, re <clears throat> here's the refrigerant connections and the ratings panel. Yeah, here's the proper model number DSZC 160361AA 28230 volts. Uh, minimum circuit amps 21, running amps 16. Yeah, anyway, let's continue on with the installation. Since I'm out here, I thought I may as well take off the cover panel, so here it is. There's not much in there. There's a cap for the uh, motor and the compressor and fan up top, and a PCB that does everything. Um, looks like your mains connects in here. That's probably the relay for the compressor. There's going to be one for the fan somewhere here. Maybe that does it too. Uh, there's current transformers here to measure so it knows how much current they're drawing. So we can shut down if something draws too much current. Uh, what else have we got? Big rat's nest of wires. A little bit. Could be done a bit better. Um, yeah, these are using PIC microcontrollers on these. That one's a PIC 18F 6722 and can't tell what this one is because it's covered in uh, conformal coating or epoxy. Looks like it's some sort of part for uh, maybe a diagnostics tool or something. What are these things are? These are oh, they're little covers for the programming parts for the pick. Yeah, it's surprising how small they've gotten everything. What is this? this is a must be a relay, but there's no um, uh, specs on it. Hmm. Anyway, that, look, that looks pretty good. Well, I think that pretty much concludes this video. Stay tuned for future updates as we install the system. Thanks for watching.